So first, I will add one simple effect, which is easy to add, uh, which is the explosion of the enemies. To add the explosion, we just need a new sprite with the animation explosion. So the animation explosion will be in the resources explosion. It's a very very big animation. Uh, I uh, I took from uh, the um, Skira bundle, uh, the free bundle. So you uh, you have access to those, those animation. I think there are three or four animation. There was another one I liked it better, but there was too much. Um, the same problem I have with my uh, sprite here, uh, uh, some kind of clipping of uh, of a blurry glow, and was uh, it was very uh, very it was more noticeable than my own, so uh, I couldn't really use it, and I was too lazy to uh, clean it. So uh, here the animation. Let's see uh, a preview. So it's too slow, obviously. It's uh, it's a nice one. I wish I could uh, create such animation easily, but uh, there's maybe a, a simple technique for this or simple software. But uh, for now, I don't know how to do this. So I had to use some external resources. Uh, let's set the speed to 12. See, uh, preview. It's a bit slow again. I don't know if you've uh, noticed, but in the neon platformer, I uh, I made it so the explosion will hurt you. So the explosion had to be quick, fast because uh, else you will uh, easily be caught up in it so yeah uh, let me check I, I've opened the the game at the other side because um, so where did I put the explosion because um, when you go into graphics and effects there's a lot 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 of um, of um, tweaking to do. It's really uh, so I don't want to uh, bore you with uh, too much uh, tweaking. So yeah, I will uh, check what I found in my uh, in my game, in my version, and then uh, reproduce. For instance, here I n I've noticed I've uh, Lowered the size of the explosion because it was uh, really, really too, too big. So I will use the same uh, amount. So yeah, you have an explosion. Uh, obviously, the explosion can't be. Uh, oh, it could be a container, and then you make it visible and you you trigger the animation the moment it dies. But it's kind of uh, doesn't really. It's not really useful. What you want to do is, on start of layout, you want to just destroy it. Uh, oh, rename it explosion, please. Explosion. So you want to destroy it. You don't need any explosion on start. And then when the... the... the enemy dies, you want to trigger to spawn this object. So is dead? No. Is dead? Yes. You want to trigger once. You want just to spawn it once at the moment the enemy dies. So you would do in the trigger once. Uh, you could do create at the position of the enemy, but this, this time I will do a spawn. A spawn is the create version, but for each object. So if you mm, if you don't pick your object, every object will spawn the same thing, which can be useful in some ways. 
and that's a bit what happens with containers and start of layout. Every object will spawn every part of the containers that doesn't exist. But here, the spawn, uh, I uh, didn't pick the right object to spawn, spawn explosion. Here, the spawn will automatically uh, position the explosion on the object itself. Uh, enemy is dead. This can maybe be a problem if you have two enemies dying exactly at the same time. Let me think about this. Uh, no, it should be alright. Because they are speaking, it will uh, happen for each. No, no, that's actually a good choice. Okay, so explosion. So let's see how it works. We just added spawn explosion. Wait. Let's kill a robot. No, he killed me. I'm really bad at this game. Yeah. So here, a problem. It exploded at the exact uh, same moment I touched it. And I want, I wanted at least, maybe uh, it doesn't look uh, so bad, but I wanted to have something like uh, explode once you, you, you're destroyed. Oh, one thing I, I can do since I like having my animation at the same place. The first thing I could do is... Uh, where are you, enemy? Is to spawn this explosion here. When the, anim the animation is finished and I destroy it. It will look like this. It's working. We'll uh, handle the destruction just uh, in, a, in, short, in a short time. Um, what I can do also is I have we have a special trigger. No trigger, I said. We have a special trigger. Uh, enemy on destroy, and you could do things like this. It's equivalent. When you destroy something, it will call this as if it was a function it will call this trigger and you, you'll do this so it's really 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 equivalent Up. so it depends how you want to organize your uh, your uh, event sheet here I think uh, this looks kind of okay and uh, <coughs> the last thing you want to do is when the explosion is done, when the animation is uh, finished, you want to just destroy the explosion object. So explosion unfinished, or you can, uh, if you are too lazy to type the, type the name, you can do on any finished, it will work, and then explosion destroy. There's not that much situation where you can use any animation finished, so let's uh, use it this once okay disappear so here you go you have a simple explosion effect on once the the robot uh, is killed and now uh, what you want to what I want personally to add to the game is a new kind of pickup not coins but health pickup so but I don't want to um, to how to say this I don't want to um, to reproduce to we have to code this well it might be better in this situation because it just I just have to yeah I will copy the way I was thinking was to use the same object and use a variab to differentiate what is a coin and what is a, an health uh, pickup. But here, since I just have these to copy, I think it's alright to have two different different objects. If you had the paid version, you would just use a family for that. So here. It will be uh, an health pickup. Okay, and uh, it will look like uh, I have a resource for this. Uh, 
image, 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 source. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> eating should be this. Yeah. Eating. Okay. I have this elf pickup. Now you're starting to see that it's a bit hard to uh, to to see the um, how to say this to see things because my environment in the game is supposed to be m more dark. I will create a background uh, layer. I will use it um, <coughs> later. But something you have to understand about layer is that here you have a background color, but the layer is transparent. If the, the layer wasn't transparent, you would, it would do that, this. You would not see the main and the background layer underneath. So it's transparent here. By default, the first layer you have is, is untransparent, so the main is untransparent. If I turn it to transparent, I will see the the workspace, and then my background layer I just had it. I want it to be not transparent, and I want to set a new color, which would be I'm just picking on my uh, other game twenty thirty one and thirty. Seven, which is a little uh, gray bluish, blue greenish, like this, and now you see more of the of the pickup. It's uh, better. You see a bit more the the explosion, the the robots. They stand out uh, way more. So uh, <coughs> here, let me say this as uh, uh, graphics and effects and uh, I could have added health pickup but it's a little detail I will use uh, when you get the pickup I will use a little animation that's why I'm introducing it here a little uh, effect I, s I wanted to say um, so yeah you have this health pickup but you don't have the code to use it now you have it and you will add you will add sorry uh, here your coins always have one as a value but your health maybe you want it to be uh, you have 100 maybe you want it to be 20 so uh, value of 20 so when you are colliding with the health pickup I could uh, edit pickup and here coin here health ok it's a bit redundant but uh, well I will destroy, I could do a replace, let's use the replace yep. ok, and uh, I don't want to add 1 to counter I want to add to the player's health uh, add HP, I want to add health dot, ah, health dot value Okay, it's a added to HP, and since I have here, I limit the HP. Uh, hmm. I'm starting to wonder what would happen if I was to get the HP and be. I think, and be and collide an enemy, maybe. Oh. I don't care, it's not that important. But maybe you want to uh, clamp the HP each time you change the value. Or check if the HP is not over... It's not at HP max. Oh, I will actually do this. I like... Because if we have 
full HP 